activity wrong. Parents, make sure that you don't get f straight up. There's a lot of f going on in the entertainment industry, the music industry. Everybody's getting caught up in something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now, though, everybody. I'm cured. Everything's good. You know, y'all can have me over for dinner. Everything is good. Diddy is leaving himself no breadcrumbs just as he's having nearly zero friends around. Almost everyone is turning against him and by now, it's difficult to name celebrities who don't have beef with him. So let's uncover these layers of drama together. Let's start with Drake. Back in 2014, the tension between him and Diddy reached a boiling point at LIV in Miami during a night that was supposed to be a celebration. Things turned sour when Diddy delivered a punch to Drake. The conflict wasn't over a romantic interest, which is often a common trigger in celebrity feuds, but rather over something as industry-centric as music rights. The root of altercation was a dispute about a beat that Diddy claimed he owned, which Drake had used, leading to heated words and ultimately a physical confrontation. Since that infamous night, Drake's career trajectory has only gone upward. He has taken significant steps to distance himself from Diddy, choosing to minimize their interactions and avoid any collaborations. This strategic distancing isn't just about personal grievances, it's also a business move, allowing Drake to focus on expanding his own label, OVO Sound, by steering clear of further controversies and maintaining a path independent of Diddy. Drake Drake has managed to enhance his brand and solidify his position in the music industry without the shadow of past conflicts looming over him. Drake's approach to distancing himself from Diddy extended into his music. He subtly addressed the feud through his lyrics, which many fans and critics interpret as overt disses, but are rather clever, nuanced lines that hint at his sentiments towards Diddy and the incident. For example, in his tracks, Drake has been known to drop verses that reflect on loyalty, ownership, and respect, themes that resonate deeply given his past with Diddy. He often uses his lyrics to assert his independence and success, perhaps as a way to underline how he has moved on and flourished without the need for old alliances. Drake's lyrical strategy allows him to communicate his side of the story without engaging in a direct and public confrontation. This method of indirect communication is not uncommon in the rap world, where artists frequently use their music as a vehicle to settle scores or air grievances subtly. By doing so, Drake keeps the focus on his artistry while still making clear his stance. Oh, Zero to 100 is one of Drake's biggest tracks of all time that dropped in 2015, but apparently this song didn't belong to him. It was Diddy who originally sent the beat a year prior, but he didn't like it that much, so he sent it to Drake, asked him to ghostwrite a verse, and also add a feature of his own. However, Drake decided to take this track to himself and made an absolute banger with it, which didn't sit well with Diddy. I did not put hands on Drake, oh. and I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> like, was that really supposed to be his record? Like, why was that? Uh, why did it become a Drake? <laughs> <laughs> you heard the, you heard the, uh, um, yeah, that was a whole crazy well, situation. We're past it now. They're mm. friends. Everybody's friends. Yeah. He's like, boy, you wouldn't do for me what happened. I'm like, what? Uh, did he just slap Drake? I heard it was over the zero to 100 beat. Exactly. Well, that's, that's what I heard. From, that's exactly know, my, what I heard. My, from my sources. That's exactly what I heard. Uh Moving on to 50 Cent, the rap mogul is known not just for his music, but for his unfiltered, often confrontational style, especially when it comes to other figures in the hip-hop industry. His relationship with Diddy has been particularly contentious, marked by a series of public spats and disagreements. These range from serious accusations of mismanagement to intense competition in the liquor market, where both have significant business interests. Beyond the business rivalries, 50 Cent has taken his critiques of Diddy into more personal territory. He has been openly skeptical of Diddy's business ethics and transparency, frequently airing his grievances on social media. This public questioning of Diddy's intentions adds a layer of tension that goes beyond typical industry rivalry, suggesting deeper issues of trust and integrity. Perhaps 
The most explosive 50 cents claims is his suggestion that Diddy had some involvement in the untimely death of Tupac Shakur. On various occasions, 50 Cent has hinted at uncovering tapes that he believes might link Diddy to the controversial event, a claim that has added fuel to the fire of their feud. This assertion taps into long-standing conspiracy theories and unresolved questions surrounding the East Coast-West Coast rivalry that defined 90s hip-hop. Despite these heavy accusations in the public drama, there are moments when 50 Cent and Diddy appear to maintain a semblance of industry decorum in public settings. However, these instances do little to mask the real discord between them. The sporadic civilities do not mitigate the evident, ongoing rivalry that sometimes spills into their professional lives, influencing how they interact within the music and business spheres. This dynamic between 50 Cent and Diddy reflects not just a personal feud, but also underscores the complex interplay of competition, legacy, and reputation in the hip-hop industry. As 50 Cent continues to probe into the past, seeking evidence for his claims, and as Diddy navigates these accusations, their relationship remains a vivid illustration of how deep-seated rivalries can become entwined with the broader narratives of music history. I tell you, like, yo, it's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out? You gotta kick it. This is possible. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it and shit. He was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the f this nigga <laughs> say? <laughs> I got the f away from him because I was like, this nigga. What? I heard Diddy touched your butt. Oh, uh, man, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, no, I don't know that that was going on. You know, I can't wait to run into him again. See, what you gonna say to him? Why are you playing with your booty in my hand? <laughs> Rick Ross's relationship with Diddy has undergone a significant transformation over the years. Initially, they were strong collaborators, working together on music projects and various business ventures, each benefiting from the other's influence and reputation. However, the bond that once seemed unbreakable has cooled dramatically, marking a distinct shift in their dynamic. At the height of their collaboration, Ross and Diddy were frequently seen together, sharing stages and business deals that hinted at a deep mutual respect. They combined their talents on several tracks and appeared to be aligned in their business strategies and visions. However, recent years have shown a marked change in Ross's approach. He has become increasingly vocal about his desire for independence, distancing himself from Diddy, both personally and professionally. This change was first noticed when Ross began to appear less frequently at public events with Diddy and no new joint projects were announced. Instead, Ross has been redirecting his energies towards expanding his own empire, Maybach Music Group, and investing in other business ventures such as franchising Wingstop restaurants and promoting his Valerius Parking Wines brand. The reason behind Ross's distancing are multifaceted. Industry insiders suggest that Ross has grown disillusioned with Diddy's approach to business and personal relationships. Although Ross has not publicly criticized Diddy or made specific accusations, his strategic retreat speaks volume. He seems to be steering clear of the controversies that have recently surrounded Diddy, including lawsuits and disputes over business dealings, which have cast a shadow over Diddy's relationships within the industry. Only time will tell how this strategic decision will impact both Ross's career trajectory and Diddy's standing in the music industry. However, one thing is clear, Rick Ross is determined to forge ahead on his own terms, defining his future without leaning on past associations. Diddy uh, invited me over for dinner a couple months ago. Oh shit, yeah, I saw that. He, he told me, he gave me a piece of advice, he said, I've been documenting everything in my life since 1992 or whatever it was. He's like, I have, I have footage of everything. And he's like, make sure that you bring a camera everywhere. It's important to document your life. and to be able to look back on these moments and maybe be able to one day share these moments with other people and they can draw inspiration from it or whatever maybe i'm gonna do whatever the f i want to do whenever however the f i want to do it you know why because i'm the freest f in the world in the discussion Drake, 50 Cent, and Rick Ross have all pulled away from Diddy, showing a major shift in the music scene. 
Each of them has chosen to step back and go it alone, leaving Diddy out in the cold. It's clear, in the fast-paced world of hip-hop, Diddy's finding himself without the powerhouse allies he once had due to Diddy's past dealings and controversies. As a result, Diddy is increasingly left out of new projects and collaborations, sidelined by his own actions and reputation in the industry. As Diddy faces these silent standoffs, the industry watches. Will these rifts signal a shift in his influence, or will Diddy adapt and maintain his reign in the evolving music landscape? Well, the realm of hip-hop is as much about the beats as it is about the power dynamics. Tonight, we've seen how alliances can dissolve into rivalries and friendships into business maneuvers. As the giants of the industry redefine their circles, the impact resonates across their music and their legacies. Thank you for tuning into the realm. Join us next time as we continue to peel back the curtain on the giants of the music world. Goodbye!